Hello. Today what I'm going to do is go over the contents of the February 2024 pocket box. Now this here is a pretty good box. I'm liking it. There's a lot of items that I will use. Some, not my thing. But, everybody gets something out of one of these boxes in my opinion. I can't wait. There's a lot of hype going around for the April box. So let's uh, break open my backpack here. I have all the contents in this. I'm going to show you what they, uh, what I received from the Apocalypse box this month. This is what the pamphlet looks like this month. Right here. And the first item is what is called a lighter knife. Okay. This is an everyday carry knife and lighter holder. It is designed for the Bic style lighter. So it's a holder for the Bic. Plus it is a little knife. Now I've been using this for cutting open boxes and such. And I'm really liking this. Now what I'm going to do just for giggles. Which I haven't been able to do yet. I'm going to carve up a little bit of uh, feather sticks. And then light it on fire. Now this here, I'm just trying to get a little bit of feathers here. These are damp as well. But, that works pretty good for getting some feathers. And for carving, it's pretty sweet as well. So the whole purpose of that is just to show that I could carve some nice feathers or nice shavings with this. It cuts nice. And I could light it. So, very useful. But, I can use this for cutting paracord and then using the lighter to finish up the end. Just many, many uses for something like this. I'm really liking it. Now, that was wet. I knew it would just go out, but I just wanted to demonstrate, like I said, how it curves so pretty sweet I'm really liking this next we have the Gerber chunk multi-tool now what this says on the back is that they have a medium flat driver and a small flat driver these are right here are the ends they have a wire stripper which is right here in the center that's a wire stripper they have a little pry bar. This whole thing is a pry bar. Also a pocket clip. And a bottle opener. And it's also stainless steel PVD coated as well with micarta scale. Now this here is around my area $29.99 for this alone. Now is this something that I could find myself using from time to time? Is it an EDC that I'll carry? Probably not. But I did see one guy uh, mention this. It'd be great I would say for opening paint cans. So I could see it in different areas. Some people would totally love this. It's one of those things that I probably won't carry it. I'll probably give it to a friend. But it's still pretty cool to many folks. <laughs> for sure. That's what I love about the Apaca box. I may not use everything in the box myself. But I know people and I have friends that would love something like this. So very cool. These I was very super excited about. I have a couple hammock tarp setups that use these. And these are awesome. Now, you can hook a rope right to this. You run it around, bring it back where you want, push your line in through, and flip it over the top, and that holds it snug. So, this, these here are wicked, uh, very easy, quick setup for guidelines. And we've got, I believe, I didn't count these. 
but uh, there's I think six or eight in here something like that so, so very very cool I was super excited about these for sure and these are metal he also provided these compact lightweight eating and cooking utensils now I have used one of these type of cups for quite a while I made a stainless steel canister pot that I've used for many, many years. One of my uh, most used. I have one of these that I sit on top of it. It fits perfectly and I use it as my lid. Plus, then I'm able to flip it over, use it as a cup, use it as a bowl, and so on. This here just tightens up like that so you don't have to worry about the handle flipping on you. You pull it back, squeeze it together, and fold it under. Now this spatula is stainless steel. This one is a rugged stainless steel. This is stainless steel as well. Locks in place that way. I slide this down. It goes over top. Now I've got a spatula. So in here I could use it. But it, this is meant for many, many different dishes for sure. And, and cookware. But just having something that you can easily fold up. <laughs> it takes up no, no room, and stainless steel will last forever. Well, I guess it doesn't last forever, but you know what I mean. It will last years. So, next is a field guide to nature journaling. This is written by James Samuel Sisti. S-I-S-T-I. Sisti? Don't know. But, this here... Gives tips and such to nature journaling. And it has some really cool information in it and such. I don't carry a journal myself. But I'm going to give this a look. And I may start. Who knows. Myself, I don't read a lot. i rather watch a video any day. You know, they say one picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'd rather look at the picture myself. Although... I do read something if I'm very interested in it. So I'm going to give this a look for sure. Now he did provide this journal as well. And it actually has a little bookmark as well. <laughs> so that's very cool. But I'm going to read what he says about this here. I can't send you a nature journaling guide and not include a journal of your own to fill with its inspirational thoughts and artwork. These blank pages are just waiting to be filled with your own experiences in the wild. Fill her up. <laughs> well, it says fill it up, but you know, fill her up. <laughs> so, very cool. Now, like I was mentioning, the upcoming April box is called Tuck 2. Now, they have taken and he gave us a link to a video that the box is uh, geared around. So, I'm very excited about that. So, for the Apocabox Challenge this month, what this says is, For your skills challenge this month, I tap the expertise of fellow outdoor skills instructor Art Dawes from PAWildernessSkills.com. In the included Hoko knife kit, Art walks you step by step through building one of the most iconic primitive knives ever discovered, the Hoko knife, discovered near the Hoko River in Washington State. It is believed this style of knife was used to cut and dress fish. So, there's a little picture of it right there. And what he gave us is two pieces of flint or chert and two pieces of uh, bamboo reed. So, and as well as some artificial uh, sinew. So, this here is a little um, project. Split your stick, put your uh, flint in, and then tie on both sides. And it's a very simple, simple knife. But in my opinion, I believe that back in the day, 
most times they would just flake off a piece off a piece of chert or flint, use that flake. When it dulled, they'd throw it away and break off another little piece. Those type of tools were used, you know, throughout. Then, you know, if you wanted something that was a little bit more pretty, <laughs> or, you know, then they went into the hardcore napping and such, and, you know, they were prized possessions. Now, that's my opinion. I believe everyday use, a lot of flakes were used. So that is the Apoca Box of uh, February 2024. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and can't wait for April. All the best.